this episode got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> okay, Danny is trying to be nice to Zach. She really is trying. She rags him a lot, but she's actually trying to look out for him. She called Karen, talked to Karen about him. She didn't tell Karen about the baby not being his or there's no baby, fake baby, whatever you want to say. Because she's trying to get them to get back together because she's uh, she obviously sees that they're actually in love. I don't know why she's avoiding the rodeo. Okay. <laughs> she's avoided him. But she's trying to get Zach to use his brain because right now he's not doing that. Okay. He's not even thinking of the other brain. He, he's just not thinking at all. So Danny's just trying to be a friend and I wish she would listen because he's acting a fool. Karen is still struggling to go to her shop, which who can blame her? Somebody did, you know, blow their head, blow their brains out all over her floor. When Zach went to go visit uh, the shop and talk to uh, Pam, the one who she works there, she said that her phone lines are blowing up. Everybody wants to get a hair done at Karen's. Morbid, that's how it is, honestly. They want to come talk to her and probably ask her about her experience. Anyway, Zach does not believe anybody, okay? He always got some kind of negative comment. Y'all women all single, but y'all telling me what to do about the relationship with Karen. They all telling you, fool, because Karen actually loves you and you love her. So now, of course, he walks, he knocks on the door and he sees Aaron there. Now, the one thing I like about Aaron, he's really a gentleman. He got people to come over there to clean her apartment, even offered to fix more things that are broken, and she said no. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something stupid when he saw him there, but thank God he didn't. Her and Aaron had a really, had a good talk because, of course, she knew about his drinking and drugs in the past and how he's sober now. And she helped him with that, which I thought was pretty cool. And she also broke down and told him that, you know, her and Zach are, well, they were trying to do something. And, of course, seeing him crown her shoulder and everything made Zach go into this whole crazy tailspin. And Zach was still being like kind of crazy when he came to the door, but he didn't react too bad. So I'm sure Karen and Zach are about to have a really long and serious conversation. Sabrina was embarrassed because when she tried to get back with Calvin, Calvin was like, lose my number. Not only that, he needed to do a deposit. So he sent a, a white woman, I'm just going to say it, and from his past. Uh, she walked in kind of with an attitude. Um, Maurice wanted to help her and she was like, no, I want her to help me. She said, I need to deposit. And she just kind of gave her a little bit of an attitude. I probably would have cussed her out, especially when she said, why me? And she was like, exactly. I would have went smooth off on her. I mean, obviously he didn't want to go into the bank anymore, but to send your ex. And only one I knew about that because Maurice looked her up on Facebook and found it. They dated three years ago. I was like, no. But I'm beyond with you, Sabrina, keep it real. You did embarrass him, so you did need a little bit of that. Maurice, remember that football player, that crazy guy who came to deposit a check and got a wife and all this stuff? Well, Sabrina gave Maurice the number. But Maurice said they're going out for drinks. Sabrina, a little worried. She said, please call me when you get home because this is weird. Maurice was like, look, I got this. So this is going to be a very interesting storyline. Like, why is he trying to go out with Maurice? And he tried to go out to Sabrina in the first place. Mm. Now, in the beginning, when Andy... Made a suggestion because you don't know, remember that surprise that Fatima had and had Gary in the trash. You know, trying to say, oh, I was just trying to do all this stuff. Get your line behind up out of here. I'm done with Gary. Bye. So the guy that she was trying to work with before, I think his name was Morris. Um, she wanted to go out with him and hoping to get back to Gary. This dude is a piece of work. Okay. He's very rude and arrogant. She didn't want to drink. She was going to get some wine. He was like, hey, why don't you loosen up? She was like, I don't have to loosen up to have fun. Oh, you just loose then. Mm, okay, I knew already. No, we, we can't do this conversation. He was ruder the whole time. And, I, and her outfit was her outfit was sickening. I liked it. But I hate that her boob was out because I had a feeling something about this dude wasn't right. I don't know what it was about him, the way he was speaking, saying, I'm on the bar and, you know, you're pretty, you're fine. Everybody just wants to F you. That is what he said. Not like when he said you had an affair. He has some bank in his pocket. You look good. You had an affair. It didn't work out. OK, the assumption that a woman who is beautiful will get with a man because he has money. 
Like the woman was a lawyer. She worked hard for it. And she said she goes by the truth. He was like the truth. The truth is the whole town knows it. You won your case because you were fine. And the judges wanted to mess with you and get you in bed. But no, of course, her talent couldn't be that. She couldn't be smart. I had a feeling somebody him wasn't right when he made a comment about loosen up or loose. Well, he then has the nerve to say, calm down. You know, I don't want to whatever, whatever, argue and all this stuff. I'm not trying to blah, 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 all this crap. And then I'm have the nerve to say, hey, why don't we go into the bathroom and do some below? And then we'll talk about it and work things out. And when he said, you know, I'm part of the bar, you knew that, didn't you? It's like she, he's trying to say, well, yeah, that's why you want to get me to go out with you because you're part of, you are on the bar. She didn't know any of that information, okay? Maybe other women have done it to him in the past, but the assumption that she did that, she was just trying to get out and maybe hopefully the word gets to Gary so Gary will leave her alone, okay? And representing the client um, is he's representing the other side. So there's no way I'd be doing any kind of business with this man. I wish she hadn't gone there at all. So she goes. So he says, go to the bathroom and get the blow. She's like, yeah, go hang in the bathroom. I'll be right back. She runs outside. I kept saying, run, Andy, girl. You are in danger. Run, child, run. So she's running. She gets to her car, the valet. The line is long. The line was long for a valet. I was like, come on. There's a car in front of her car. So she runs to her car, gets in her car. And I don't know. She kept rolling one down saying, hey, hey, hey. I wish. I said, what kind of car doesn't automatically lock? I said, so, okay. She's sitting in her car. And he gets in and said, you're going to stand me up. She said, get out of my car. He said, that's your problem. And we are grabbing her. And all kinds of us said, Laura, please do not, do not rape her. Please. Oh, my God. I don't know what is going on. But I hope that's not about to happen. I'm just so hoping he is not about to rape this woman. I just, I'm frustrated because this does happen in everyday life. But the assumption that a man has about women to me is just asinine. Don't you assume that a woman wants you for your money or because you're attractive or because she's attractive. There's an ulterior motive. She's a lawyer. She says she worked hard. She does not want to lose her license because of a situation that she had with another man that blew up into this. Yes, she's a woman. She's admitting to her faults and everything else, but she should not be penalized by losing her license, something she did work very, very hard for. And for another man to put in a position, because to me, I was assuming he was going to like say, hey, give me some, be with me for a minute or whatever, and I would make sure this whole, because he even said, i make sure this whole thing goes away. So no, I don't like that. And um, the preview of next week, I didn't have a chance to look at it, but, you know, I'll be coming back for that. I would like to hear you guys' opinion in the comments about what do you think about this episode? What do you think about Andy? Okay, we're hoping that she did not get attacked, but he was attacking her. He was grabbing her and everything, and the show went off. So we don't know. Is Maurice okay? He's going out to uh, um, uh, think, I'm not, well, I'm not sure if he's part of this, the show or not. Um he called them entertainers okay um I, I did see a picture of him wearing a dress so he's probably gonna go up there and put a show on okay but i guess everyone's worried about this guy because of the fact that he came on to her i don't know what's going on with that i'm hoping danny would get with the rodeo guy and i'm hoping karen and zach can work it out whatever's gonna happen but i ain't gonna lie i do like her with aaron but that's my commentary Sisters on BET, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.